Hi everyone, my name is Vina, aka Miss WC Reader, and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So I am currently in um, Orlando, Florida, staying at one of the Walt Disney World resorts, and it's been a pretty hectic week right now. I'm just laying down, trying to chill out, um, trying to go out and get a little late night snack, and I'm leaving tomorrow. It's been a very busy week. I thought I would be able to like kind of like film stuff along the way, but I really haven't had time on my vacation. I'm not mad about that because I do like my vacation time to be pretty active and I've been active every day. Like I visited Epcot today, um, yesterday it was Hollywood Studios, the day before was Magic Kingdom, and then the day before that was Animal Kingdom, the day before that was visiting the Kennedy Space Center. So it's been a crazy week full of jam-packed activities. And I did get to do a little bit of reading though. So most of October, I was in a reading slump. It's very hard for me to concentrate on books. Things were just really weren't holding my attention. And um, the only things I was really reading was like Elemental Inferno and Vanish Witch which I've, um, by A.J. Locke, which are ongoing series on Kindle Vela. I was really enjoying them, but everything else has just been such, like, hard for me to concentrate on and really get into. I did DNF a lot of books, like, end of September, early October, because they just weren't appealing to me. So now I finally feel like I'm getting back on track with my reading again. So I started on the plane, somebody that I used to know, and I banged out, like, 12 chapters and it was only like a two hour plane ride so that was actually pretty good but it's by Dana L. Davis and I've spoken about her recently she is an author that I really do enjoy who writes YA she's also an actress um she used to be on the show Franklin and Bash which is where I originally knew her from before she started writing YA and I'm really really enjoying somebody that I used to know I think it might be her best book yet and it is available on Kindle Unlimited if you do want to check it out there and you are a member. But um, because it is like an Amazon publishing book, um, it's so good. It follows this girl named Dylan. So she lives in Iowa and she is a transracial adoptee. And I really like how Dana L. Davis addresses that um, and talks about the weirdness of being a black girl growing up in an all-white family, especially since this family does have biological kids who look absolutely nothing like her of course so Dylan's like navigating being one of like the only black girls in white spaces but it's not done in a way that like in a way that it's done in a lot of other YA books I read where it's like almost like a prize in some way or we just like don't really address it in in a way that feels realistic I really like how it's done here especially so Dylan um, is of course she really wants to get into Juilliard. She is like a violin prodigy and um, her plan is to definitely go to Juilliard, get in. She has no backup plan. Her old friend, Legendary, who is now this big R&B singer, comes back to town and he's just like, you've changed so much. He's like, you're wearing colored contacts. You're wearing this straight weave all the time. It's just not you. And she's like, dude, I haven't spoken to you forever. Why are you judging me like this? And it kind of follows them reconnecting because Legendary is in a bit of a jam. So his mom has a conservatorship over him because he was partying a lot. He was spending money recklessly. He really wants to do this world tour, which is going to make him a lot of money. But his mom is like, absolutely not. You have to prove that you're responsible. So he figures he's going to reconnect with Dylan, show her that he's still the same old him and everything will get back on track. So right now where I'm at there do, like trying to fulfill this bucket list they made when they were younger by do and it's like full of all these really silly things but it, it's so cute watching them reconnect as friends and I can't wait until like they reconnect as more but it, it's so good it's like fast paced um and everything that I want in a YA contemporary like this year YA contemporary has kind of been dull for me so I'm really enjoying like how this one is flowing. I think Tina L. Davis is a great writer who really does try to also talk about how it feels to be a black girl, especially a dark skinned girl, 
because that's not always addressed and like even though we're all black there is like a big difference between how you navigate the world when you're lighter skin or when you're or when you're biracial or when you're a girl of darker skin tones so I like that that's being addressed and she usually does try to like address that in her books which I do appreciate even if it's not totally PC it is what girls are actually feeling so it's really great so far um, I just wanted to check back in with you guys and let you know what how things have been going um, where things are headed and what I'm reading right now so if you like this video make sure and hit that like button Thanks so much for watching and I will check in with you guys soon. Bye now!